Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I thought I should discuss something that I consider may be very important you know, to you guys. Especially it is important that we understand some of the terminology that we use very well. So there are some terminology that we use, especially when we want to define something like quality control or quality management system or even laboratory quality. Anything that has to do with quality management system, the common words that we use has to do with precision or accuracy. So, and I know I had already made a video on laboratory quality control, like internal quality control and external quality control. You know, and also I've made a video on UCAS and NEQAS and all of that. These are all form of quality management system, which I had already explained on my previous video. So today, I want to see if I can explain what exactly is precision and what exactly is accuracy. Because sometimes some of you guys have gone for an interview and you've been asked what is accuracy or what is precision. So today I want to see if I can be able to differentiate these two terminology. But before we go on, once again, my name is Dr. Ebane Lobodo. I'm a biomedical scientist and I'm also a lecturer in biomedical science here in the United Kingdom. So yeah, let's get into this. Before we go into what is precision and what is accuracy, I think we should first of all look at what is laboratory quality. Because when we look at laboratory quality, we are looking at quality management system. Whether you are talking in terms of your quality control, whether it is internal or external. So the question now is what exactly is laboratory quality? You know, to be able to define this, I want us to know that everything that happens in pathology laboratory has to do with making sure that we we'll give a result that will produce a result that can help in effective diagnosis of patient condition. And if we are going to do that, that means the result we are producing should be reliable, should be accurate, should be precise, and should be timeliness. In other words, it should be produced when it's supposed to be produced. And that is where turnaround time comes in. Therefore, laboratory quality can then be defined as accuracy, reliability, timeliness of the reported test result or laboratory result. Okay? So that is laboratory quality. Now you are going to see that that terminology has come again, which is accuracy. And in some occasions, it can, you can hear something like precision. So now what is accuracy and what is precision? Now I want to, before I go ahead to define what accuracy means and what precision means, I think I want to explain something to you. Now, the best way you can differentiate these two has to do with this. I want you to imagine that you want to measure maybe a biological sample. Let's say something like a whole blood or maybe serum or plasma. Whatever thing that you want to test for, whether it is in biochemistry or microbe, whatever thing it is that you want to test, anything that you want to measure, there is actual value of that thing. Okay? Now, let me give us an example. Let's say you have something like a cup of water and in that water you have put maybe something like let's say you've put 20 gram of sugar in that water and you stir it you know homogeneously you've mixed it properly but you know that you have put 20 gram of sugar in that water what it means then is that if you are to analyze the amount of sugar in that water you know that the amount is 20 gram but when you analyze it and you get 19.9 or you get 19.5 or you get 19.8 or you get maybe 20.01 20 as the case may be so what it means that even though you are not getting the actual 20 gram that you put there the value that you are getting is very close to the 20 gram. That's another way. Okay? Now, there's also another aspect of checking if that result is going to give you, or that method is going to give you a good result. This water that contains 20 gram of sugar, okay? You now decide to divide it maybe into three places. Okay, so you kind of aliquot it into three, okay, meaning you just divide it into three. So you have one, two, three. So 
you mix it very well, then you aliquot it into three portions. What it means that you have three replicates, meaning you have replicate one, replicate two, you have replicate three, meaning that you divided that water that contained the 20 grams into three. Now, what it means that it should not matter because you have mixed it homogeneously. The same amount of sugar that is, that is in replicate one should be the same in replicate two, should be the same in replicate three, meaning it should be the same in the first one, the second one, and the third one, even though you've divided it into three. The result should at least be the same. It should come as close as possible. So when you measure the first replicate, and you get something like maybe 20.1, you measure the second replicate, you might get something like 19.8. You can when you measure the third replicate, you might get something like maybe 19.6. If you look at that, you're going to see that all the results, even though you have portioned it or aliquot it into three different portions, you are going to see that you are getting a close result. What it means that your test method is correct. Now let us define accuracy and precision. Because these two examples that I've given you is what either what accuracy or precision is trying to explain to you. Now, what is accuracy? It can be defined as how close a result measurement is to the true value or accepted measurement. Now, like I've said, what that is trying to explain to you is that when you test for that sugar, when you test for that water that contains 20 grams, how close is the result to the 20? So when you get 19.8, it's close. If you approximate it, it's 20. If you also get 20.01, it's still close because if you approximate it, it's still 20. Okay? If you get something like 19.6, it's still close because if you approximate it, it will still give you 20. That is what accuracy measures. Accuracy is measuring how close is the result of the measurement is today true value or acceptable measurement. That is what accuracy means. Now, let us look at what is precision. In precision, now you are looking at the replicate. You know, when I mentioned about replicate, I like putting it into three different um, portions and you measure it individually and you get almost the same result. That's replicate. And that is what precision talks about. So precision can then be defined as how close measurement replicate is to each other that is precision okay i hope this makes sense so now when you go for your interview and they try to and you're using the word precision or accuracy you should be able to know what you are talking about remember that both accuracy and precision are ways of measurement that gives you confidence to know that the method you are using is working very well i hope you now understand the difference between precision and accuracy so, if you have any question, please put it on the comment section. And on the comment section as well, you can let me know what you think about the video. Please, can I ask you to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much till I come back your way again. Bye-bye.